So will the film industry always move to wherever they have the most tax incentives? I don't really see where my assessment is wrong, but I do want to talk a little bit more about uh, tax incentives and when they are enough to persuade a film to come to a particular jurisdiction and uh, when they're not. So tax incentives are an incredibly important, almost indisposable part of financing an independent film. They typically account for 20 to 30 percent of your total budget in making that film. And uh, they're very reliable and predictable relative to other pieces of collateral that are available when you're financing a movie. So just by making a plan to shoot your movie in an incentive state like Louisiana or Georgia or Mississippi or New Mexico, you increase its attractiveness to an investor by like 30%. It's a big deal. But the tax incentive law is not the only thing to consider, okay? So for instance, let's say the state of South Dakota, where there's really not a lot of filmmaking right now, say they institute a, a film incentive next year that is uh, better than Mississippi or better than Louisiana, right? So um, let's say, you know, Louisiana is 30% just for round numbers and South Dakota is 35%, right? So why would I not just go to South Dakota? And the reason why it's not smart to run to a state who had no filming yesterday and it's going to have tons of filming tomorrow uh, is because of the cost of production. It's going to be more expensive to make a movie in a place where movies aren't made regularly than it is a place that makes movies all the time like Louisiana or Georgia. So you can go to South Dakota and you can set your movie up there, but when you go to hire your crew, there's nobody there. They don't have a crew base. So that means in addition to paying whatever you need to pay for you know your grip and electric team, you also have to fly them in. You also have to house them. You also have to pay them per diem. These are substantial costs, substantial costs, uh, and they all add up, right? So um, it's a big deal. And you know some some states you know have a new incentive and they have an extra perk for local crews. So you know if you have somebody that lives locally, you get an extra five or ten percent on their labor. Well, that perk does nothing if nobody lives in that state yet, right? The script is a major consideration too. You know, if the script calls for, you know, mountains in the background all the time and you're in the desert and, you know, that's not necessarily going to be the, the most cost effective thing to shoot in Louisiana or the Dominican Republic where there are no mountains and no deserts, right? So, um, you know, whatever, even if there's a higher incentive, you know, you may end up have an attack on all these VFX costs to, you know, add all this stuff in in the background. So these are fairly complex decisions and you need to rely on a veteran producer to help you make those decisions.